Final closing argument. Listen, I ain't five on I ain't police, but basically, uh, you have to be inspired to think like a detective, to think as if you are a cop, even though I'm not. So with that being said, if I'm thinking like a detective, this might make no sense to me in the morning, when the morning comes. That's a shout out to Smash Mouth, alright, so one of my favorite bands, greatest music of all time, old oh, Smash Mouth, but basically, this is my final argument. This is what, this is a something, this is a contradiction that is not adding up, where I can't make the lines connect. Kenny, basically, if you allege Kenny in, broke into that store at night, a burglary, or breaking and entering, did he take something? Uh, if he didn't take something, maybe that's just criminal trespass. Did he actually take something of value with the intent to deprive its, the lawful owner of it? So there are affirmative defenses to burglary. What if the person was, now was the person intoxicated? Did they accidentally, um, you know, basically enter into a compound that they thought was their own, you know, basically. So now the other angle is basically like this. If, if Kenny, this, this is a weird argument. If, if there is no reason for Kenny to seek to need to break into that store, there's no reason for him to break into that store. So basically, so if one were to allege, this is the Sharon angle, if one were to allege, if they believe that Sharon somehow, you know, basically was someone that supported him, then I would personally think, if I'm Kenny, why don't I just call call up Sharon and say, uh, this is not my perspective, but if I'm Kenny Veach, the, pretend if I'm Kenny right now, Susie, pretend if I'm him. What am I going to do? If, if I need something, if I need money, if I'm out of money, what I'm going to do? I'm going to dial up Sherry. Ring, ring. Sharon. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my beautiful babe. My beautiful, most beautiful loyal queen. The most beautiful girl in the world, Sharon. Sharon Pilgrim. I need you. I, I'm in dire straits. I need, I need your, I, I need some help, sugar mommy. This is sugar poppy calling. And then basically, then he just, then you would just link up with Sharon and get some help. So, so if he has loyal Sharon, why would he need to break into the store? You see, that doesn't add up. The whole thing about, oh, Sharon allegedly being suspicious, that doesn't add up, in my opinion. If there's this connection between Kenny and Sharon, why is he going and breaking in? Why why would he allegedly break in the store? You just go to your, you just go to your most beautiful love, your most beautiful flame. And if she stands by your side, homeboy, cowboy, then she's a loyal royal queen. And if if you love her, you gotta put a ring on that. You gotta put a ring on that, Kenny. 